Windy Bee is probably one of the toughest bees to get in the game, requiring hours of grinding. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest method to claim a Windy Bee. So without any further ado, here are the best tips and tricks to be able to get your Windy Bee fast. All right, so there's two parts to getting Windy Bee. Obviously, there's the first part, which is summoning a bunch of Windy Bees so you can defeat them. And then the second part is taking the cloud vials you get from those Windy Bees and donating them. So starting with the first part, which is of course spawning the Windy Bees. Now, obviously, we want to donate as many cloud vials as possible. Possible to get our Windy Bee. Therefore, we need to defeat as many Windy Bees as possible. When starting your Windy Bee journey, you need to know the things to donate in order to actually summon a Windy Bee in a field. Now, there's a couple things that usually work. Some of them are more expensive than others, so I recommend just choosing the one that works best for you. But for starters, when you want to get a Windy Bee, there's a couple things you can donate, such as, for example, three glue, which I used to do a lot, but then I started saving up for like gummy boots and gummy masks. So if you're a white hive, I don't recommend donating three glue to summon a Windy Bee. Three jelly beans also works from what I know. So I mean, if you've access jelly beans, then you might as well just donate them. Now, a really reliable way is actually donating a star jelly. Now, I understand that if you're an early game player, this is really expensive. So if this is too expensive for you, then please, I recommend sticking with the gumdrops or jelly beans method. But if you're an end game grinding for Windy Bee, then I highly recommend that you choose to donate star jellies instead. Let's see. Let's actually try one out right now. I'm going to donate a star jelly. And just so you can see like that, a Windy Bee already summoned in a field. There we go. Windy Bee's in pumpkin patch. And in case you guys didn't know, there's only a select field that Windy Bees can actually be summoned in. There's coconut, pumpkin, pineapple, dandelion, oh wait yeah, and mountaintop. Let me know in the comments if I'm forgetting any. But basically, when you donate these items to get a Windy Bee to summon, you just want to check those fields, but honestly, check all of them just in case. Now keep in mind though, in order to summon a Windy Bee first of all, obviously you can donate three glues, three jelly beans, or a star jelly, but there are other better things to donate from what I know. And I'm probably going to get comments about those items. Check the description to see if I've posted any new methods, because I'm probably forgetting a couple. Anyways, on to the second part of getting a Windy Bee, which is the actual donating cloud vials and getting a windy bee. Now you might not think there's strategy to this, but there actually is. Now first of all, there's favor. Now there's not much we can really do with favor. It's basically the number that determines how likely you are to get a windy bee. The more stuff you've donated to the wind shrine in your entire time playing bee swarm, the higher your favor is, and therefore the higher chance you have of getting windy bee. Different items give different amounts of favor, but the best item to donate to give favor is cloud vials. So you really don't want to be donating anything other than cloud vials, just so you guys know that, because I made the mistake of donating 500 tropical drinks when I was a noob, so please don't do that. But there's also another method when it comes to donating your cloud vials. Now, this will depend on how good you are at the game, so you might want to use this method, you might not. But you should know that it doesn't matter how many cloud vials you donate to the wind shrine. You still have a chance of getting Windy Bee. Now, obviously, if you donate 10 cloud vials, you have a higher chance of getting Windy Bee than if you just donated one cloud vial. But how many you donate at a time is really important. Because let's say I'm playing Bee Swarm Simulator, and every Windy Bee, I get six cloud vials. Well, most people would think, oh yeah, just do two Windy Bees and then take the 10 Cloud Vials you get and donate them to the Wind Shrine. But that's not what you want to do. Because if I get 6 Cloud Vials per Windy Bee, and after 2 Windy Bees, I've gotten a total of 12 Cloud Vials, and 2 of those Cloud Vials are just going to waste. So I always recommend donating before you have 10 Cloud Vials. Otherwise, you're literally just wasting them. Don't wait until you hit the max, because at that point, you're just wasting them. And it's much better off if you just quickly donate your Cloud Vials first, then wait an hour to do more Windy Bees. So basically, try and avoid hitting 10 out of 10 cloud vials at all costs so that way you can maximize your chances of getting a windy bee and the final key to getting windy bee is literally just consistency it's a really tough grind i know this video does give you the best tips and tricks to make it faster but it still might take you a little bit so if you can i would recommend maybe just doing one windy bee every one or two days set a goal for yourself and please stick to it and i promise you you'll have your windy bee in no time thank you so much for watching this video i really hope this helps you guys out let me know if there's any more guides you want to see down in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video